immediately. Mm-hmm. Those of you that are taking notes, you may want to write them down, or if you highlight sometimes like I do, then you can highlight them. One of those words is the word concern. The other one is the word necessary. (coughs) The other one, the word impale. The other one, the word urgently. (coughs) The word exhort. And the word contend. Amen. These six words suggest to us that a problem or a crisis has been revealed. All right. Okay, okay. And it causes an urgency in me to get up and do something about it. Okay. I'm going to say that again. Okay. These six words suggest that a problem has arised. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And because of my love for God. Okay, okay, okay. And the guidance of the Holy Spirit, Uh it causes me to get up Uh and do something. And the Holy Spirit pushes me and moves me in the direction of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When problems occur, it is because, number one, of a leadership issue. All right. I agree. Number two, a lack of vision. Okay. Number three, a lack of financial understanding. And number four, a lack of order. Mm. All right. Proverbs 29 and 18 says, where there is no vision. Come on, mm, come on. People That's perish. Right. The people will perish. Yes. Mm-hmm. When a crisis reveals itself, uh-huh. it will reveal the character of a person, place, or thing. All right, all right. You already preaching, man. I hope you'll follow me in the spirit. Yeah, I'm with you. When a crisis reveals itself, it reveals the character of a person, a place, or a thing. Proverbs 28 and 2 says, when a land transgresses. Uh-huh. It is because there are many rulers. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. But when the ruler, listen to this, but when the ruler is a man of discernment. Uh-oh. All right. A man of understanding. Uh-huh. And a man of knowledge. Uh-huh. Its stability will last a long time. Yes, Thank you, Lord. I wish I had a witness. Preach that. That. Thank you, Lord. That. Now, this scripture is speaking in reference to us having too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Oh. 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 I wish I had a witness. You better come out. How many of you have ever tried to run a household with more than one person in charge? Yes. Oh. I wish I had yes. somebody in this place. <laughs> so, therefore, what this is saying is that unrighteous and ungodly people in authority and leadership will cause a land not to have moral standards. Jesus. Can I make it a little bit more personal? When those of us in our homes Uh and in the church Uh are ungodly and unrighteous Uh and don't follow the direction of God, Uh the moral standing of the people will reveal itself. Yes, well, it will. 
Have I got a witness? Yes, yes sir. sir. We good. In our homes, as those of us as heads of households, yes, sir. if you do not run your house according to the word of God, uh -huh. chaos will break out in your house. Yes. I wish yes. I got a witness. Yes. Yes. Chaos will break out in the neighborhood. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Chaos will break out in our cities and in our towns. Well, because nobody has any moral standards. Well, help, Lord. Now, this is saying a lot for those of us in the church because this is saying for those of us that we should contend for the faith. Now, those of us that understand the definition of faith, faith is a belief and a confident attitude toward God, comma. With commitment to his will. Amen. Now, we have said that we have faith. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which most of us have the first part of faith. Uh, yes. faith. Yes. We have the belief and the confident attitude toward God. Right, right. Period. But we don't have commitment to the will of God. Jesus. And it is because we don't have commitment to the will of God that God is not obligated to do anything for what I'm believing Him for. My, right. My, my. That's right. Preaching, man. Preach. Right. I'm going to be quiet on me this one. Right. Uh, there are three levels that lets us know a person's maturity. Mm -hmm. If you really want to know where people really are, talk to them for a little while. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 13 says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. All right. I understood as a child. Yeah. But when I became a man, uh -huh. I put away childish things. That's right. Yeah. The three levels that reveals our maturity is how well we talk, how well we understand, and how well we think. Uh -huh. Help, Lord. Talking to some people for a little while, you will find out where they are. Yes, Lord. Just by talking to them. Some of us talk so crazy and don't have no sense about what we're saying yeah. to the Seven point that minutes. people don't even want to hang around us. Uh -huh. Especially those of us in the house of God because how is it that we can speak in tongues in here uh -huh. oh, man. but then walk out of here and cuss somebody out? Jesus! I wish I had a witness. You better come on. Uh, I want... All of us to be very careful from this day forward uh -huh. of what you say. All right. Because everything that we say, uh -huh. everything that we do, uh -huh. must be a reflection of God. Amen. Amen. God said, and I told all those of us that was here last month when I preached. <laughs> God said, I want all of you. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh. All right. I'm going to say that again. Mm -hmm. God said, I want all of you. Thank you, Lord. And you have to want all of me. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. If you don't want all of me, you can't have none, none of, of me. me. That's right. Woo! That's right. Woo! That's right. Mm -hmm. Because I will not tolerate and I refuse to deal with part-time people. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. That's not me talking, that's God talking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, I refuse to tolerate and I will not deal with part-time people. Amen. Jesus. Now, that should say a lot to some of us, especially those of us that marry. If your husband or your wife only loved you part-time. Well, well, come on now. I wish I had a witness. Come on now. What do you think is going to happen? Ain't going to work. If they only communicated with you part of the time. Uh -huh. What's going to happen? 
conflict. <laughs> Y'all a little bit too quiet for me. Before we can contend for the faith, we must first become the church and stop doing church. <laughs> Doing church. I'm going to say that again. We must Jesus. be the church and stop just doing church. It is only when we start being the church that we can begin to display and manifest the culture of the kingdom here on earth. The kingdom of God is simply the rule and domain of God. The, and, and, the, and a domain is a land that a ruler or a government controls in God. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to say that again. Yes. A domain is a land mm -hmm. that the ruler controls. Yeah. It is a government issue. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Here you go. Make it plain, Pastor. Mm -hmm. How many of you know how a government operates? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. All right. Nobody? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when a government is in control, it controls the way people live. Mm -hmm. It controls how people act. Mm -hmm. It controls the things that you can and you cannot do. Mm -hmm. Now, if I am a part of the kingdom and the kingdom culture, then what must happen is I must display the government of the kingdom yes. here on earth. Yes, yes, yes. And in order for me to receive the things from God that are connected to his domain, I have to be submitted to his will. Yes, God. Amen. What is his will? His will is his word, and his word is his will. Thank you, Lord. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Thank you, Lord. If I don't want his word, I don't want his joy. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. I don't know what you came for, but this is all I got this morning. <laughs> you better come If I don't want his word, I don't want his peace. All right. All right. If I don't want his word, I don't want his blessing. <laughs> if I don't want his word, uh -huh. I don't want his healing. Jesus. My Lord. The Bible says the blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Anybody want some blessings? Amen. You got to want his word. Amen. The Bible says healing is the children's bread. Yes. I had a witness. Yes. How many of you want to be healed? Amen. Amen. You got to get the word. Amen. The Bible says he will keep me in perfect peace. Yes, God. If I keep my mind stayed on him. Yes, God. Yes, God. How many of you want peace? Yes, sir. Amen. You got to get the word. Amen. Perfect peace. The Bible says sometimes I may have to cry all night long. Mm. I wish I had a witness. Yeah. Joy. But in the morning, yes. joy is going to come. Yes. How many of you want joy? Yes. You got to get the word. Yes, God. As I said before, problems arise yes. uh -huh. because of a leadership issue. Uh-huh. Ephesians chapter 4, I need us to turn there because there's some things I want to show you real quick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I can get to where I need to be and then we'll move on. Yeah, <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Amen. Starting at verse 11, when you get there, say amen. Yeah. Amen. And it says, and his gifts were varied. He himself appointed and gave men to us, some to be apostles, special messengers, some prophets, mm -hmm. 
some evangelists, some pastors, and teachers. Verse 12, his intentions, watch this, was for the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. His intentions uh -huh. was for the perfecting uh -huh. Uh -huh. and the full equipping of the saints. Uh -huh. His intentions was for the maturing uh -huh. of the saints. Uh -huh. <coughs> maturing. Now, many of us are scared of that word perfect. <laughs> but I don't want any of you to walk out of here today and be afraid of the word perfect. Amen. The word perfect just simply means grow up. Uh -huh. Amen. This does not mean that you don't have flaws. Amen. Amen. This does not mean that you're not going to make mistakes. Uh -huh. This simply means that whatever I did to mess up last week, I should learn from it and not do the same thing this week. Amen. How I got somebody? Amen. So therefore, this kills the whole thing of us saying that I made a mistake. Uh -oh. Because if I did it last week and I got punished for it last week, why would I do it again this week and get punished for it again? All right. <laughs> That's not a mistake. That's right. That means I just simply willfully and deliberately went out here and did the same thing all over again. Uh -huh. And the Bible says to him that knows to do right and to do wrong to him or her, it is sin. Simple. How many of you know right from wrong? Amen. Amen. I should have seen more hands than that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> So we have no more excuses. Can I talk to some of us, old and young? Yeah. Let's get rid of this this phrase, peer pressure. Right. Because if you made up your mind that you're not going to do something, can't nobody in this world make you do what you made up your mind that you're not going to do. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Stop pointing the finger at somebody else. If you did it, it's because you wanted to do it. Right. You can't even blame the devil. That's right. I wish I had a witness. Amen. Because the Bible says that God has given us power over the power of the enemy. Amen. We have no more excuses. Amen. Get out of here and stand up and grow up and start living how you're supposed to live. Yes. I wish yes. I had a witness. Yes. See, we cannot continue to go down this road. Uh -huh. Especially if we have pastors and leaders that are teaching us. Yes. Right. Amen. I wish I had a witness. Yes. Amen. Now, if you don't have no pastor and no teacher that is teaching you, then we still have no excuses. Amen. Because the Bible says where there is no one to teach you, the Holy Spirit, Spirit will, will teach, teach you. you. Right. Yes. Amen. Have I got some witness? Amen. So therefore, we need to get some Holy Ghost. Yes. I wish I had a witness in this place. Yes. Get the Holy Ghost. And where there is no one to teach you, I guarantee you that once you get in that word and you ask God to open up your understanding to the word, you will walk out of here and walk better, talk better, live better, do better. I don't care who you are. You can have a fifth grade reading level. But if you ask for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost don't make no difference what level you're on. It's still going to teach you. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Oh, God. All right. Thank Mark you, Lord. chapter 6 uh -huh. says that he called to him 12 apostles mm -hmm. <laughs> and began to send them out as his ambassadors. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now, the word ambassador means the highest ranking person yes. uh -huh, who represents his or her own government mm -hmm. while living. In another country. Uh huh. Come on. Well, how many of you know that as Christians, this world is not our home? That's right. That's right. The Bible says we are just pilgrims and strangers passing through. Yes. And we have to understand that if this world is not our home, then I cannot conform 
to this world. To this world. Uh -huh. Come on. I've got to be transformed yeah. by the renewing, renewing of, of my, my mind. mind. Yes, God. And prove what is good and acceptable, acceptable. and yes. perfect. Yes. Will of God. Uh -oh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Will of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, America has embassies set up all over the world. Uh -huh. well, 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 well. I wish I had some. Come on with that. that. <laughs> An American embassy, when it is set up in another country, <laughs> I don't care what laws are in that country. If you are a part of the American embassy, yes, sir. the laws of the land that you're from stand, not the laws of the land that you are in. Well, See, now we get into the scripture where it says that, 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 that whatever I loose on earth yes. <laughs> shall be loosed in heaven. Yes. Whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Why? Because I am not a citizen of this country. I am a citizen of the kingdom of God. Yes. So therefore, if I say yes. you are healed, guess what? If you heaven is healed. in agreement with me, guess yes. what? You're healed. Amen. Thank you, God. If I say you're delivered, then guess what? If heaven is in agreement with me, you are delivered. Yes, God. Come on, somebody. I wish I had somebody. Yes, see, see, God. See, we get this thing mixed up and trying to do it in our flesh. Yes, yes. Come on, I wish I had somebody. Anybody know what the flesh is? Yes. Mm. The flesh is that part of you that wants to overrule God. Yeah. Loose Come on, somebody. <laughs> See, many of us don't recognize that flesh has its authority when I give it authority. That's right. That's right. That's right. Flesh cannot overrule the Holy Spirit if I give the Holy Spirit authority over me. Yes. Right. So therefore, what has to happen is that once I receive God and I receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says I don't belong to myself. Amen. I was bought with a price, price. and that price is the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes, so Amen. therefore, if I don't belong to myself, yes, sir. why is it that I'm going out here doing what I want to do? Uh, <laughs> you better come out through the city. Yes. <laughs> Leviticus said, Lord have mercy, and I, I'm, I'm trying to cut on cutting and pasting, so y'all going to have to go with me, because I don't have time to go through everything. Leviticus said, there should be a distinction. Yes. Between the holy and the unholy. All right. Well, well, there is. Well, yes, sir. There should be a distinction between that which is holy and that which is common. Yes. 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 Mm. My Lord. So now, that, that, that word common so draws my attention to common. the Bible when it says, <laughs> There has no temptation taken you, mm -hmm. but such that is common to man. God will make a way of escape. Yes, yes. So therefore, there is no temptation that can overrule you yes. if you are walking in the direction of God. Amen. All right. Amen. So therefore, get out of here with, I was tempted, the devil tempted me. <laughs> get out of here. If you got the Holy Spirit, the devil can't tempt you. The temptation is just an invitation to sin. Yes. So therefore, if you go out here and sin, that just simply means you accepted the invitation. <laughs> Oh, How many of you ever accepted an invitation to a party? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then you got there, you fell out of place. Yes. <laughs> That's the way the Holy Spirit ought to do you when you're in a place you ain't supposed to be. Yes. Yes, I wish I had a witness. So if you say you anointed and you got the Holy Ghost, it, as soon as you walk in that club door, it ought to just shake you up. Yes. I wish I had a witness. Anytime you go to turn up that liquor bottle, the Holy Spirit ought to slap you across your face and say, what do you think you do? I wish I had somebody. Huh? Anytime you go to disobey your parents, young people, because you can have the Holy Spirit too. It ought to get you in check and say, that's your mama. And the Bible says, honor thy mother and thy father that thy days may be long upon the earth. So therefore, if you go out here and you die prematurely, guess what? It's probably because you didn't honor yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, y'all. My Lord. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. You should make a distinction. Yes. yes. All right. All right. Between holy yes. and unholy. Yeah. Amen. But when we don't do what we supposed to do. Uh oh. Well, <laughs> there it is. 
Can I help you to understand something? God said, because if you get the devil here, me and my wife, we got a book at home called The Third Day Christian. Mm. Mm. And it gives us three levels. The first day was the time of man. Uh -huh. Second day was the time of the church. Uh -huh. Third day is the time of God. Right. Uh -huh. right. So that means what man didn't do, he gave the church the opportunity to do. Uh -huh. right. But when the church didn't do it, now he got to come down and do this thing himself. Yeah. Jesus. I wish I had a witness. Yeah. Jesus. And when you look at Ezekiel, mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. God said, I will vindicate mm -hmm. the holiness of my great name. Ooh. My Lord. Jesus. Woo, do it, God. In other words, since you're not representing me the way you're supposed to, mm. I'm going to do it myself. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he said, I'm going to separate everything uh -huh. that is not godly. My God. From you. Uh, Lord. Mm. Come on, Lord. Remember, I said a couple weeks ago, those things that we don't want to lay down, God is going to do it for us. Yeah. And it's going to be more painful for you if He does it than if you were to yes. do it for yourself. Yes. See, I was yes. asking somebody. And sometimes, if that means I've got to take your husband away from you, my God. My Lord. My Lord. See, my God. Many of us don't want to hear that. Man. Because, see, I, I think it was Isaiah said, in the year that King Uzziah died. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I saw the Lord. Lord. Yes. So yes. therefore, if that means somebody has to die well, in order for you to see God, yeah. well, that's what God is going to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My Lord. Yes, sir. Y'all better hear me. Woo. See, so therefore, what this says to me is, is that you better be careful of your connections. Yes. Well, yes. You better be careful of who you attach yourself to. Well, yes. I wish yes. I had somebody. Yes. See, the Bible in the story of the prodigal son, the Bible said he went and attached himself right. to a citizen of that country. Uh -huh. Well, don't they say no. Oh, yes. And the citizen of that country led him away from the presence of God. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Anybody know what it feels like to be out of the presence of God? Oh, Jesus. Oh. See, that, this is why I, 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 I cling so much to David, because David said, Lord, you can take whatever you want to take from me, but don't take your Holy Spirit away from me, because I can't make it without your presence. I can't move without your presence. I don't want to live without your presence. In your presence is joy, yeah. peace, love, happiness. Yeah. I wish I had a witness. Salvation yes. is in your presence. Yes. And I don't want to be without your presence. Yes, God. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Thank you. I wish I had somebody. Yes. Can't nobody love you like God can. Thank you. Have I got a witness? Yes. Anybody ever fell in love with God? Yes, Jesus. You know, should I say, yes. is anybody in love with God yes. right now? Yes. To the point that you will say, just like the Bible said, I'll let nothing yes, separate me from the love of God. Yes, My Lord. Lord. Thank, you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me finish this before I get lost. Go ahead. Thank you, God. He said, I was separated and separate those things which defile my name. Those things that profane my name. And all the nations will know that the Lord did this. In other words, he's going to expose you so bad. Everybody gonna know. Everybody. Everybody. Yes, sir. See, I, I, I know it's hard. Yeah. I know this is a hard message this morning, but this is what God gave me. Yeah. Because really, in this instance and in this message, I really come today to talk to all of those of us that are in leadership. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, when I say leadership, I'm not just talking about pastors and ministers. Right. Uh -huh. I'm talking about parents, mothers, fathers. Yeah. If you're in a leadership position on your job. Yeah. Amen. When I say leadership, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about leadership in every aspect yeah. of leadership. All right. All right. If you are in a leadership position and you call yourself a Christian, well, uh -oh. come on, uh -oh. and you're not following the direction of God even on your job, Woo. even in your house, mm. God said, I am going to expose you. Jesus. In front of everybody. Woo. Your children will know. 
Yo, y'all ain't say your neighbors is gonna know. Man, you talking, bitch. I wish I had somebody. Yeah. Other church members are gonna know it. All because you chose to do your own thing. Jesus. Good. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He said the people are going to know. Thank you. And they're going to realize that I am the Lord. Yes. The sovereign ruler who's co who calls for loyalty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, he does. Uh -huh. Anybody ever dealt with somebody that was unloyal? Yes, Lord. How did it make you feel? Oh, God, um. betrayed. <laughs> so how do we think God feels? Betrayed. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Lord. with you, Pastor. He said, for I will take you among the nations and gather you out of all the countries mm -hmm. and bring, to, bring you into a land that people will see you. Woo, Jesus. Lord. He's going to embarrass you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing that we have to recognize, especially those of us now. Can I talk to those of us as priests? Uh oh. And prophets and apostles in the uh -huh. church? Yeah. See, God, Lord have mercy, Come at the on. end of the book of Exodus, mm -hmm. he, he, he tells Moses uh -huh. to set up the tabernacle. Yes, sir. <laughs> and in the tabernacle, there were certain things that had to be set a certain way. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Things that had to be done a certain way. Uh -huh. And he, once the temple and everything was set up, the altars were set up, the candles were set up, the posts were set up, the veil was set up. Look at what happens. Once everything was in its place, here comes the glory. <laughs> come on, glory. Yes, sir. Come now, miss that. Yeah. All right. See, the glory cannot come if something is out of place. That's right. That's right. And many of us saying we want the glory. Show me your glory. If the glory is not showing up, uh -oh. check and see what's out of place. Woo! I wish I had somebody. Woo! Many of us say we want the presence of God because that's what the glory is. Uh -huh. We say we've been praying to God and God ain't answered me. Uh -huh. Well, it might be because something is out of place. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Jesus. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. See, see, those of us in our houses, your house is a temple. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> yes. So therefore, those of us that are heads of the household Amen. need to make sure that everything is in place at home. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. All right. Because God says, I cannot protect you well, or your house right. if things are not in order. Oh my, Lord. my God. So therefore, not only will you suffer, mm, Jesus, but the whole house suffers. Jesus. Deuteronomy 30 and 19 says it very clearly. I call heaven and earth to witness against you against this day. This day. And I don't care how, whenever you read the scripture, it's always this, this day. day. <laughs> that I have set before you life, life and death. Yes, sir. Blessings and, and curses. Choose 